Hello guys, so I tell like it is in this video, I'm going to explain to you why Stephen A. Smith is finally going to get a correct pick in the NBA Finals, why his NBA Finals streak of incorrectly predicting the winner six straight times is going to end. The number six has always be, been a key number of the Freemasons, the number 33 adds up to 36, the highest degree of masonry also Ohio is the 17th state in the Union and if Stephen A is correct about the Warriors and that would be one time that he is correct out of the past se seven and Bay finals predictions he has made that directly connects with Ohio being the 17th state in the Union Ohio became the 17th state on March the 1st of 1803 March the 1st of this year in the year 17 adds up to 21 in numerology the cap the Warriors sweep over the Cavs that I'm predicting the days of the games on the 1st the 4th the 7th and the 9th add up to 21 in Jesuit equals 21 and this NBA Finals has all been a huge Jesuit ritual as I've been saying for the past couple of weeks and Stephen A. Smith, you can see in his prediction, is predicting a Warriors victory in the NBA Finals. And notice the game predictions for those guys. Doesn't mean it's going to go six or seven games. That's just the way to throw off betters. Because that's what entertainment, sports, and programming network is all about. Is misleading the public. To go the wrong way. As in Cleveland in game six. <sighs> well, first things first, let's put stuff out on front street. <laughs> okay. For the public out there, don't listen to me. Okay, I've been wrong like the last six damn years. I get emotional during the NBA Finals because I kind of get a rooting interest. Like this year, I want LeBron to win. I want him to win bad, believe it or not. I really, really want him and the Cleveland Cavaliers to win. But bottom line is I've been wrong. Wrong against Dallas because I didn't think that LeBron would choke in the fourth quarter. Wrong in a, you know, when uh, they, 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 the Cavs lost two years ago because I didn't think Kyrie Irving would get hurt in game one. Wrong last year because I didn't think Draymond would get suspended in game five. But that's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, Max, I am very inclined to believe in you, but to believe and side with you about the six games. However, because it's LeBron, and because it's the finals and the trilogy that we've all been waiting for, I'm going to put my wishful thinking cap on and tell you it's a game seven again between the Cavs and the Warriors <laughs> back at the Oracle. And I am predicting that the Golden State Warriors will hold on and knock off the Cleveland Cavaliers in a game seven. I'm quite sure. <coughs> okay, so this part, you know, Stephen A has been wrong you know, almost uh, all the time, but his six straight uh, incorrect NBA Finals uh, predictions uh, comes as no coincidence. I think it's just a Freemasonic way of mocking everyone who predicts based on Stephen A in the past six years. And clearly Ohio being the 17th state to be ratified in the Union and Stephen A having a chance to go one for the last seven years in the NBA Finals is really, really revealing. Well, he talks about emotion and riding with LeBron James, but if that were the case, and you would have predicted the Cavaliers to win last year. Now, clearly, Stephen A is going, going to go uh, with logic this time with Golden State. You know, they got Kevin Durant, and, you know, the best thing for the NBA to have is to have all the skeptics out there say, Oh, if the NBA was rigged, then you know, LeBron would have won the NBA Finals again, you know? So, this is the NBA's way of getting people to believe that this league is not rigged when it's clearly scripted for Kevin, Dur uh, for Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors to win this year. Stephen A. Smith's birthday is on October the 14th. I'm predicting this NBA Finals to win... After four games on June the 9th, what's really revealing is that the amount of time between June the 9th of 2017 and Stephen A's birthday is a time span of four months, five days. Four months, five days. Trump, the 45th president, 
President Trump and Kevin Wayne Duran Gematria both equal 45. And it would be 127 days between the end of Game 4 and October the 14th, his birthday of 2017. Because Golden State Warriors win it all equals 127. I have made Jeshua tributes in my first game prediction video, Vatican City. The head of the Catholic Church equals 127. The phrase, Kevin Durant will sweep King James, also equals 127. Now, in th this video is about Stephen A. finally getting an NBA Finals prediction correct. Stephen A. Smith is finally right, equals 127, 137. The 33rd prime, right about Cleveland losing. Cleveland equals 33, right about the winner of the NBA Finals for this NBA season, 16-17. Adding up to 33. So this time you better listen to Stephen A. Smith. The Freemasons love their number 6. Masons, 6 letters, 33. Adds up to 6. One correct prediction out of the last 7 NBA Finals for Stephen A. Smith. Ohio, the 17th state. So you better listen to this guy this time around. They keep saying it's going to go 6, 7 games, but... You may be surprised, this may be Super Bowl 48 all over again where the Invincible team continues to dominate against a team that everyone loves. You know, everyone wanted to see Peyton May and the Broncos win Super Bowl 48, but the same thing is happening here where everyone hates Kevin Durant. People want to see Cleveland win. People love LeBron because he's back in Cleveland and he delivered on his promise. So you're going to see a lot of emotional people Bet on Cleveland. It does not help that the Warriors have very, very low payouts, and the Golden State, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers have really, really high payouts. You know, Vegas lost for the college football national championship game. They paid out the Cubs betters. They paid out the Cleveland betters this past year. There's no way you can see it happening if you can see the latest trend of events in. Uh, big favorites that have won, uh, big favorites and underdogs have won over the past years. Cleveland, the sexy underdog, and the Chicago Cubs, favorite for the World Series the past year. So once again, Stephen A. will finally be right. Golden State Warriors win. The Cavs have no chance.